wood free well actually it might cost us 80 bucks in breakdown recovery because you missy i've got some problems oh come on what you got steak what i really don't know what these are <laughs> yeah just need a cup holder now <laughs> Have you solved the fly problem? <laughs> weeding weed control in action we don't want to mow the lawn or strim we want the bunnies to eat it and the bunny is eating it and the bunny is <laughs> and doing fertilizing it as he hops bunny's yeah. doing a very good job I'm trying to snuggle in other ears. This one here. Uh, this is the scariest box. Here we go. Snuggle in. <laughs> Her mum's just all about the food. No, she deserves the food. She's ten of them and lost none. I know. She's a good mama. Where are we going, Daddy? We're on the scrounge from all wood. More scrap wood. No, filed. Oh. Oh. Hopefully some of it's hardwood. Yeah. I need something for my chopping girl. Yeah. Are you going to do the chopping, Etty? I will do as much chopping as you request of me. <laughs> We've got that on camera. We've got a lot of it. How does it feel to be back on the chainsaw, Marcus? <laughs> yeah. You missed your chainsaw, didn't you? Yeah. Whilst it was in shipping. It's like an old friend to you. Does she have a name? This is Bertha. Bertha. <laughs> So, another nice trailer load of wood, free. Well, actually it might cost us 80 bucks in breakdown recovery because someone got out of the car, left it running with the keys in, being on one of those automatic electric stop start button push, all the doors are locked. Keys in the ignition, the ignition running. And the price of gas? Don't. It's not exactly a free load of wood, is it? Enough wood for a while. Yeah, it'll be all right. Flies are getting to me now, so go call it quits. Yep. Another good haul. You okay, Nerity? Are you like her eleventh child? Look, little pile of bunnies. They're only like seven days old. When do their eyes open? Three days. Hey, Can Lily. we have a look at one up close? Yeah. 
Oh, so cute. These guys. Like little puppies, don't they? Size of your hand. How cute! Oh, rabbit love. You, Missy. I've got some problems. Oh, come on. Bex, making a screech. She's hurting my ears. Why don't you go away? If you're going to lay it, get in a box and lay it. Look, look. She's glaring. She does not look like a chicken, does she? No. No. No, she doesn't. So if you're going to lay the egg, Bex, can you lay it, please? I know. I know, but she's sitting on the eggs. This is she? Look. There we are. See? There, sit down and lay it. You don't say anything. Not you, her. I was speaking to her. Ugh. That box is too small for you. You're a big chicken, Bex. Bex! If you want to go in it, go into the top. And Kit Kat's in there anyway. Bex! Alright, looks like you're moving over and have the bigger box. Getting in that one? Bye bye then. Bye! She just wanted to sleep on the perch tonight, kids. Oh, Papa! Come on, she just wanted to sleep on the perch. She ain't done with Mummy yet. She ain't done with you, Bex. You're not a man, female, whatever. I know, I'm sorry about this. I'm so sorry, Max. Okay, can everyone please get off of Mum? She's allowed to sleep on the perch by herself. Oh, You're fine look, there. Look at Peppa. Okay, Peppa's fine there. But. So. I think it's safe to say Bex is done with the chicks that she's hatched. So she started laying eggs a few days ago and sleeping on the perch. And now um, she's just gone out to find the grass where I'm, and they're sleeping in here. So Peppa's the oldest, she's sitting there, he, and uh, the rest are down there. But yeah, I think uh, Bex has sat in the room for about a month and they're a month and a half old. So she's weaned them off, hasn't she, Kaz? But uh, we've got Kaz Jew soon, so the 28th to the 30th. I need to go sit with your little friends over there. I'll sit with Pepper. doesn't matter. You can sit with Pepper. What are you up to, Ed? Uh, making a rocket stove for steak. You're going to cook steak on the rocket stove? Yeah. Have you YouTubed what you're doing? Good old YouTube. How many videos did you watch? Three. Three. We've done it before in the UK, hadn't we? Yeah. But not for a while. Not for a while. So what do we have to do? Um, I'm just going to grab two uh, half bricks so I can make an air hole along the bottom to feed in sticks. Does it need um, to be taller? It is going to be taller. Ah. I need to get some more bricks. Okay. The bigger question um, is, when did you boil in a cup of tea? Does that mean you're making lunch? Yeah, I'm making lunch. Woo! I need to get some more bricks before we actually light it. That okay. Way. Are you going to steal all my kindling? I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet. Yeah, it's Yay! It's a light. Well done, it. Excellent. Time for lunch then. Cool. I'll bring the chairs over, shall I? <laughs> Those marshmallows. <laughs> We're going on the fire. What you got? Steak. 
Oh, I really don't know what these are. <laughs> oh, that's chops. Pork chops. I have to flip that one. You don't mind cooking if it involves a fire. If it involves a fire, it's fine, right? Too true. I think we're going to have to have a fire every weekend now. Just so you cook. <laughs> what have you made, Bridget? Um, coleslaw, potato salad, and green salad, and... Uh, hot boy eggs. Yay! <laughs> Life is better with butter, that is a fact. Butter and bacon. need a cup holder now. <laughs> Is there a chance you could do like a back to it? <laughs> A double one so we can have a tea kettle on yeah we, we're gonna have to look at um what the regulations are about when we can you can have, i don't know if this class is an open fire i think this class is like a cooking apparatus because mm -hmm. as long as we're responsible there's no embers and stuff the burn thing is for two o'clock today so we're fine today but yeah. on another day yeah it would mean we can't light till seven potentially but you could come home from work, right? You could chop wood over there and we could have burgers on the barbie. Exactly, right? Because you know how much you like chopping wood.
So we're starting the second, the, well, the last side of the polytunnel, where the door's gonna go. And uh, I'm not saying I'm feeling that motivated. Still loads of flies, but it's quite nice when it rains. Bit of coolness, bit of breeze. Marcus, are you feeling motivated? Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just the flies are annoying. They bite. It's not just like fly flies. It's it's almost like mosquitoes. And I'm enjoying this. Um, I want to get on. I want to get on and do stuff, but like I know it's like. It's like we waited long enough for the snow to go and then we had, what, a month? Six weeks of nice weather. <laughs> and now we have flies. Flies are the weather. So I've been tasked with measuring where the hoop's are going, which we did on paper. And it's been entrusted to me. So if things don't line up, I'm the one going to get shot. So the flies were getting the better of us and uh, Marcus decided he was going to turn a pair of net curtains into fly screens. So hopefully we can get back on with the build. Have you solved the fly problem? <laughs> yeah, net curtains. Net curtains solved the fly problem. <sighs> the one's just landed on me. <laughs> we have ordered some proper, proper fly hats, haven't we? We have. Um, it's just, yeah. Well, I thought I'd ordered them before, but clearly not. So, um, take two. <laughs> so as much as we weren't motivated, we really just wanted to get on. We really want to get the polytunnel in a position where we can actually start using it and planting it. Um, it wasn't just the flies that were an issue. Marcus was going down with a head cold. Um, so it wasn't feeling his best. And uh, yeah, just, um, I don't feel like we got massively far. So I'm just watering the flowers. Oh, the rain better. And uh, I'm not sure if it's getting enough water, if we're not watering it enough. The soil has to dry, sort of thing. But um, i giving it a good soak. But uh, if you look, if you look and like dig a hole, it's still dry down there. Fairly dry, but uh, oh, there's potato there. Hmm, that's interesting. So we've put some wire around the potato bed so that it will sort of discourage the chickens from digging up my potatoes and the rabbits. I mean, it's only sort of big holes, big chicken netting, so it's not going to hold anything that really wants to get in there. But hopefully, it will just discourage things from getting in there.